Hi, this is a brief tutorial on how to complete Unit 3, Section 5 in Cognitive Tutor for Algebra 2. So first, you should read the scenario. Using the linear function as the basic function, create the transform function g of s, x, obtained by dilating the function by a factor of 2 and vertically reflecting. So what you're doing is you're taking typically this um, written explanation and you're putting it into a mathematical model. So choose a description and since the first sentence says using a linear function you choose linear. Then we know linear functions are f of x equals x and we know that it looks like a line. Okay so that was just based on that first phrase. Now it says create the transform function by obtaining by dilating. So transformation I'm going to choose dilation. It tells me dilation by a factor of 2 right here in the sentence. Then I have to write the equation. So I like to push this button, reset, so that x shows up and then I can just click an arrow over. And so if I'm going to dilate it, I have to multiply by 2. Um, then it asks, am I finished? Should I do all of the transforming that was written or expressed? And no, I haven't because it still says and vertically reflect, so no. Then I'm going through this whole thing with instruction three, you're doing it each piece by piece. So since it says reflection, I'm going to click reflection, and we know that to change something into reflection you make it negative, push enter, and then have we done all of the transformations that it states? Yes. And so that's how you do a problem with a literal. So here's another one with a literal. Um, and that's what you're doing for this whole thing. Again, reading through it in this case, the equation for the transform function is g of x equals negative x plus 2. Using this information, indicate what basic function is, and then explain, explain each transformation as this equation states. So you're going to have to walk through and be like, okay, there's no x squared, so again, it must be linear. That must make it an x, and that must make it a line. Then one thing that I noticed that it did is it um, reflected it. Vertical reflection. And what did it do with the vertical reflection? Well again, if you look at your equation, vertical reflection is negative. But that's not the whole thing, so I hit no. And I also added 2, and we know if we add 2, it's not inside the parentheses, so it's shifting up. And how much? By 2. And so we're literally writing the same equation that's written right over here. You push enter, it's the same equation, so you hit yes, and you are done. Um, so just read through this, be very careful as you read through it, and then again, it's telling you what type of factors you have. Um, so take your time, look through it, and if you still have questions, please come in and ask. Thanks.